Today and with this event, we commemorate World Environment Day. The focus for this year was air pollution. Our take home from this event is that we must think about how we will live to ensure others are able to live in a better way. Life as we know it will not be there if we continue being reckless as we have been. Today, if bees disappear, and you know bees are already disappearing because of use of pesticides and the pollution that we are having in, this, in the world, if bees disappear, 33% of the production of our crops will disappear. Minimum 33%. And the irony of it is that if human beings disappear today, the earth will do better. We are the most useless creatures and the most destructive. If today we disappear, the earth will be happier. My call for action is that our country is looking up to all of us to innovatively protect our environment and engage in promoting sustainable conservation of flora and fauna in Kenya. The role of STEM education in ensuring this happen is crucial. Let us teach our children to love and appreciate living in a clean environment by role modeling the same. We should be role models as, as, as adults. Bright yellow sun, we bloom with colors. And in the garden of love, we are beloved blossoms. It is our pleasure.
horrible plastic polluting our sea. Who's responsible? Here you ask. The answer is you and me. Human created this problem. So what can we all do? Let's start by being careful with what we place down the loo. <laughs> <laughs> Recycle it or bin it. A year round resolution to save our ocean wildlife left and the plastic pollution. Okay, so you are the people who can synthesize this, uh, this information about the environment. So they need to know more about the environment to help others to conserve this environment. Because this environment belongs to us. We are the one who are destroying it. At the same time, we are the ones who can make it. First of all, and thank the Giraffe Center, the sponsors, and the management for giving us this opportunity. I've participated in this competition for the past eight years, since 2011. I've been a trophy winner thrice, and I get motivation from daily experiences, interaction with the environment, and everything. Concerning the World Environment Day, I want to pass my word of appreciation to the President for signing the bill that bans use of plastics and straws in our Kenyan beaches, national parks, and public places by which will take effect by June 2020. And that is a great move towards ensuring that we reduce the especially water pollution, the plastics in the ocean that causes about 10,000 lives of ocean lives. Yeah.